Judge Peterson ruled with respect as, it, as far as it relates to the Wisconsin Elections Commission, in quotes, the DMV and the WEC have done little to inform the general public that credentials valid for voting will be issued to persons who enter the IDPP. The WEC's public education and outreach efforts since the court's July 29th order have been largely a continuation of the planned campaign concerning voter ID in general. The court also said neither the DMV nor the WEC have clearly explained to the public what it takes to initiate an ID petition. Uh, this is an order from a district court subsequent to a mandate by the en banc Seventh Circuit decision finding that this agency, barely or little over 100 days old, is in violation of a court order. That is very, very serious matter. And the individual commissioner, Ann Jacobs, testified in federal court that we didn't have funds in this agency, that we're not a taxing entity, that we don't have the ability to get additional money. And on cross-examination, the DOJ implicitly accused Commissioner Jacobs of not making a motion for funds. Of course, the ID petition process, or IDPP, is the process at DMV that individuals can enter if they want to get a free photo ID for voting purposes. Uh, typically, there are certain documents under the DMV's administrative rules that those individuals are required to present, including the proof of identification and proof of residence. But the uh, DMV has also developed an administrative process uh, to permit individuals to enter the IDPP and leave with a temporary receipt that they can use for voting, even if they don't have any documentation at all. Um, the second phase is that by next Friday, as I alluded to, the parties are to present Judge Peterson with a plan for additional public information, public outreach. Um, Judge Peterson commented that um, there may need to be additional funding, that he may not hesitate to order the state to uh, use additional funding for this um, order. You're asking that we encourage and endorse the actions of the staff to cooperate with the Department of Justice, Plaintiff's Counsel, the DMV, and the court sure. to effectuate the court's order as to the phase one right. rollout. 